Hi, I'm Veronica and in today's video I will show you how to make a business slideshow using Filmora 11 just like this one. In this video I'm using the modern corporate pack which includes 23 different titles, 20 elements, 10 transitions and 5 overlays. So now let's jump into Filmora 11. And as you can see I already have my project fully put together here on the timeline so in this video I'll just be going over how I added all the individual elements into the video. I'm going to mute the music for now so it doesn't get in our way and we're going to start with seeing how you can add an image which is keyframed and how you can add the overlay, the title and the element on top of it. And then finally we'll finish off with how to add transitions. So let's go into the media tab, drag our image onto the timeline. So the first step to keyframing your image is to double click on it and then to go into the animation tab and click customize. Then select the very first frame of your clip and click on add. And now you can double click on the preview to adjust your image to a place which will be the starting point for the animation. And you can then go all the way to the last frame of the video and once again press add and double click on the image on the preview to select the ending position for your image. You can also use the rotate scale and position sliders here to do that. Now when you play back the photo it will be moving. Next let me show you how to add an overlay. Overlays are found in the effects tab. So here are the five overlays that come in the modern corporate pack. So let's drag one of them onto the clip. So with overlays there's not much that you can do. You can only really adjust the opacity of them if you want to. Now let's go into the titles and choose one of these titles to put on top of our video. Uh, for example let's choose this one right here and click and drag it onto the timeline. So each title comes with a preset text and if you want to customize it, double click on the title in the timeline and you can click on each individual piece of text in order to customize it. So you can change it right here on the left. On the preview, you can also resize each piece of text and you can drag it around in order to position it so that it better fits in the frame. You can also use the title group controller to control the whole title altogether. And of course you're also free to change the font, the font size and you can adjust things like the text spacing and line spacing as well. Now let's go into elements and add one of these into the video. So if you want to add an element you simply have to click and drag it onto the timeline and if you want to preview any of the animations you simply have to click on the thumbnail and you'll get a preview on the right. And once you're happy to go back into your timeline just click back on it and your preview will appear. Now to resize the element you have to double click it on the timeline and you can either resize it in the transform tab using these settings or you can do it directly on the preview which I prefer doing as I find it's a little bit easier. Okay, so this is what our video looks like now. Now if you want to add a transition to your video you will need to have another clip next to this one. So let's go into the media folder again and drag in one of the other images. So I'm going to resize it by double clicking on the image and then scale it up. And now we can go into the transition tab. So adding the transitions is very simple. You can preview the animations by double clicking on them and you get the playback on the right. And once you're happy with your choice you just simply click and drag it between the two clips. You can also adjust the length of the transition by clicking and dragging the sides in or you can make it longer by dragging them out. Anyway guys that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and that gave you some ideas for your own business slideshows. If you are interested in any of the packs they will be linked in the description below so go ahead and check them out. Also if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and I'll see you on the next one.